Hey, hey, Tim's Tips number 51 here. I'm gonna show you how to modify a Make Sky Blue solar charge controller and make it remote controllable through a, for a BMS. And that way you can control more precisely the charging going on with your batteries. I'm using it for my big Tesla Model 3 battery system. And I have the BMS tell this uh, solar controller to turn on and off as needed. So here goes. So the first hack will disable the charger and put on this fault light as if it's over temperature, but it uh, can be easily re-enabled. Uh, first of all, you're going to remove the screws from the Make Sky Blue unit. Then you're going to take this capacitor here. Uh, this capacitor has to be lifted up in order to get to the RT1 area there, if you see that, that RT1. And then we're going to take wires and we're going to wire up 200 ohm resistor through a switch. I don't show the switch here, but 200 ohm resistor that will disa effectively disable charging of the unit. And like I said, uh, the BMS can control this via relay. Uh, this is the physical wires, uh, what they look like. And uh, just lead the two wires out of the unit so that the BMS can control it. I have these spade uh, female terminals here that I connect into uh, through a relay <clears throat> and a switch. Uh, the second hack is where I remove the fan. This fan is obnoxious, it's loud. Um, the Mixed Sky Blue unit, uh, this fan will be covered actually here, and I'm gonna make a plenum, and I'll show you how to do that. So the fan is removed in this photo. You're gonna break off the back unit. I ground off the rear of the unit and broke off the uh, the panel that's preventing uh, airflow through the unit. And I'm covering up these holes as well. These kind of defeat airflow. Uh, what you want is air flowing up through the unit. I covered uh, you know all the vents, but I'm gonna have um, the air come up from the bottom and then go to the top of the unit. So we'll create essentially a plenum and that will uh, ensure cooling of the heat sink and other components within the Make Sky Blue unit. Uh, a lot of the high heat producing uh, compounds, uh, components are located onto this heat sink or, or fixed to the heat sink. You can kind of see them there, but this is the top of the unit where the heat will come out. Other hack is to mount the side of the unit uh, onto the, uh, wherever you're mounting it to, instead of putting the heat sink flat. Uh, when you do that, you kind of defeat the, the airflow. So here again, you have warm, you have cool air and warm air creating kind of a plenum uh, to cool off the Make Sky Blue unit. And it does get warm during the, you know, during high, um, you know, high uh, solar activity. Uh, here's the mounting screws. I uh, just, you know, I drilled three screws in there and mounted it on its side uh, of my wooden mounting uh, panel. And that way uh, you get much better uh, cooling of it. So I appreciate you listening. Uh, please subscribe and thanks for listening.